So let's talk a little bit about identify beat. This is a great time saving technique that had I known when I first started, I would have hours and days of my life back. So uh, I want to show it to you guys today. Let's say you get a track from a friend and they want you to record all the vocals on top of an instrumental. This happens all the time, you know, if you're working with like pop or R&B or hip hop music. So over my regions list here, I have a track uh, by my friend and I'm going to just drag it in. And you can see Pro Tools uh, automatically makes a track for it and titles it. So this is a song my buddy made for uh, for Christmas. So it's called Wishlist. And it's a Christmas song. Let's just take a listen to it real quick. Oh, let's mute Merry the... Merry uh, Christmas. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas to all. Oh, and to all the good... Oh, I got a real good feeling. Okay, alright, so that's the track he wants me to add whatever to. It's already got vocals, I know, but let's pretend we're going to add something. Uh, before you ever work with a track in Pro Tools, you want to know the tempo because and it, and it, knowing the tempo enables you to use the grid, and having the grid on your side is really a time saver. So what I used to do is break out some sort of metronome device and just try to time it to the beat so I, you know, start playing it. Oh, I got a real and then, this is gonna be the best. you know, pick a tempo that until I just got close enough to where I was happy with it. But we don't have to do that anymore. I'm not sure I ever had to do that, actually, but I didn't know any better. So uh, let me show you a much, much better way. In order for this trick to work, you need to make sure that the conductor track is enabled. So uh, the conductor track was the thing we talked about in the last video. Let's go to the transport, open up our transport. It's this button right here. If it's not enabled, you can't make changes throughout the session. You only get to set a manual tempo at the beginning. So we want to uh, make sure it's enabled. Okay, so that's number one. And then we need to make sure this other button called tab to transient is enabled as well. So normally, uh, when you, let's zoom out a little bit. Normally when you work with Pro Tools, we'll duplicate this, uh, tab, if you hit the tab key, it just moves the cursor to the next break in the region. So actually, let me rephrase that. It'll move the cursor to the start of the next region. So let's go ahead and disable tab to transient right now. And I'll show you what the, the behavior looks like. Right now, the cursor is over here at the beginning. And we started a new region over here. So the cursor, when I hit tab, is going to move from here to here. So I'm hitting tab now. Boom, right there. And let me reset it and do it again. I'm hitting tab now. And there you go. That's the, no that's the behavior when tab to transient is disabled. So let's actually undo that and zoom in a little bit. I want to show you what tab to transient does. So let's go to the beginning of the track and enable tab to transient now every time we hit tab it's gonna move the cursor to the start or to the next transient so here we go right there right there it even finds ones that we uh that aren't very obvious and it just moves right along this is great for when you are um for example, if, there, if there's anyone who cuts up beats, you know, samples beats and needs to make loops out of beats, this is this is perfect for that. You definitely want to make sure you have tab to transient uh, enabled. And in our case, it's going to be great for what we need to do. Now, the first step in identify beat is choosing a four bar section that you want to find the tempo of. So let's pick our four bar section. How about right here? Let's turn off this metronome. Alright, that's the beginning, definitely. So we put our cursor near this, uh, near beat one, near this kick, 
and then we hit tab to transient and it'll lock it right onto the start of that transient and then uh, since we have keyboard focus mode enabled this button right here all we need to do is hit B and that's gonna break the track at that point so zoom out and let's keep listening until we find the end of these four bars Ooh, I got a real good feeling that this is gonna be the best Christmas. No fighting, no fuss, and no stealing. I'm gonna get everything on my wish list. All right, zoom in. And it sounded like that kick was right in this area. Let's tab, tab over, tab the transient, click B, break it. I bet that was the start of the kick. Yep, perfect. So now we have a nice four bar section that we can use to identify the beat. Let's go over and click on this grabber, excuse me, grabber tool, and highlight this. And the identify beat uh, feature is located in the event menu, menu. Click identify beat. Okay, so since it's a four bar section, don't pay attention to these numbers. Just put in, uh, the start point is beat one, and the end point is uh, beat five or measure five beat one so click OK and it gives you the tempo of 85.9933 well we can pretty much be sure that that is actually 86 and Pro Tools is a little too perfect at times so you'll off, often get um, these sort of decimal numbers I just round them to the nearest half um, BPM so this is 86. Now let's test out uh, this feature. Let's see if it actually is 86. First, let's just uh, drag this tempo all the way back to the beginning of the session and change it to 86. Now let's unmute the metronome. I'm gonna flip over to the mix win window so I can uh, drop down the volume of the track so that you can hear the metronome. Let's hit play. Let's see if it worked. Merry Christmas. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas to all. To all the good Oh, I got a real good feeling that this is going to be the best Christmas. No fighting, no fuss, and no stealing. I'm going to get everything on my wish list. Dear Santa, I've been on my best behavior. I rush before bedtime. I play nice with the neighbors. I keep my room spotless and I want That sounds good to me. You know, I wanted to keep playing it just to make sure it didn't slip, but it sounds fine. So that's how you identify the beat of a track that you don't know.